video i will show you how to create the y bus matrix or bus admittance matrix i will be using this image with these values and to create this y bus matrix there are four nodes here okay so let's start the program and here first let's create and open a new script and save it showing any message here we need to use this so i'm just going to use this to display a line before the code you can see here this is the line that we just displayed and here after this we will start by taking an input here the input will be inside the variable x so x equal input and then inside the parenthesis inside single quotation we will write enter the number of node and a column let's add okay so we just took the input for the node and for this type for this node we will create two for loop here first one will be i equal one and it will be till x and incremented by one and there will be another variable j for this we will create two for loop and inside this for loop we will take the input for the admittance value there are four different nodes and each node is connected to each other and there will be different values for admittance we will take input inside this for loop okay so here if i equal j so if i and j are equal then we will show a different message when we take input and else we will show another one so first let's write it a is a matrix where we will save these values that is our y bus matrix we will convert it later first let's take the input inside this a so a of i and j equal i will be our row and j will be column so here input will be enter the value of admittance y now we need to give the number y11 or y10, y12, etc. So here for this we will use this integer to string. We will convert it and give i and j inside the bracket. But here as i and j are equal, so the self-admittance will be represented by 0. So here we are using 0 instead of j. and before this we need to add another one strcat if we use this uh, I integer to str then we need to actually use this function to strcat okay now we can just copy this and here we can just paste this and modify it everything will be same except for this part here we need to use j if i and j is equal 0 then instead of j we will write 0 and if it is not then we will write j in place of j okay so here we just uh, take the input so our input is done now what we will do is we will assign this matrix to another matrix called b and after this we will start the processing part so for processing part again we need two for loop one for row and another for column now if i and j are equal so if i and j are equal then that means this is our diagonal value right okay so if i and j are equal then this is for the diagonal value and for diagonal value we need to actually save all the values for one row add them all and put it inside another variable called y so here y will be equal y plus b into i comma k there this is the diagonal value 
and here inside this if i and j are equal we are actually getting this value inside this by adding all the element of any one row let's check again here if it is y11 then we need to add the four variable four value from this and save them inside this y11 so here we need to assign this y value of y inside the matrix a i comma j will be equal y and after we have done this we need to make the y equal 0 so that we can use this y variable again or else it will be added to this previous value okay so we just made it 0 and now after this we need to go here if i and j are not equal then we will just change the sign of them so here we are using a negative sign for this here we just uh, put the value of our input matrix inside the matrix B so we can use B here B i comma j will be assigned to a i j okay We will just show the matrix B and the Y bus will be inside this A matrix that will be assigned to this variable Y bus. Let's see. Okay, there is a problem here. Let's delete the hyphen. Now this is the variable. Let's run again. And now we can see this. Okay, so let's just input these variables values from the image. Okay, so how many nodes are there? We have four nodes. And now y10 that is our self admittance. So here it is minus 1 and y12 minus 2.5, y13 minus 5, and y14 will be 0 because there is no admittance there. Like this, you need to input all the values okay now press enter okay there is an another error undefined function or variable y uh, this is happening because we have used the y inside this for loop but we did not declare it before this so we need to declare it first and then start working so here we need to write y equals 0 let me just give the input another time Now we are getting this input ma input matrix here inside this B and inside this Y bus we are getting this output. Here you can actually match the values to see if the output is correct or not. You can see all this value minus 8.5, 2.5, 5 and 0 and 2.5 minus 8.75 and 5 and 0 and 5, 5 minus 22.5 and 12.5. Okay, then 0, 0. And 12.5 and minus 12.5. Yes, every value is okay. So that is how we actually determine our form our Y bus matrix. Now, if we give any value or for any node and give the input, we will get the exactly the Y bus matrix as output. Okay. Next, I will show you how to form the Z bus matrix. Thank you.